um, excuse me, excuse me, it's time that we have a Kelly trip. <laughs> It was the end of my summer season on the East Coast, mostly guiding in North Carolina and hiking the Long Trail in Vermont. Kelly had three weeks off in between long rotations working up in Alaska, so we decided to plan a trip to the beach. Our top pick was the Outer Banks, and we eventually found an awesome Airbnb in Kitty Hawk. First attraction on our list was Jockey Ridge State Park, which includes the tallest active sand dune system in the eastern U.S. It also is the eastern terminus of the Mountains to Sea Trail, which crosses the entire state of North Carolina west to east. Oh, who's that over there? Bartender. <laughs> Do you? Ooh, what do we have here? We got some corn, some baked potatoes, and chicken. Mmm, yum. And a pool. And drinks. <laughs> Bad timing. We spent a long afternoon at the public beach nearby. It was a great time of year to visit because most of the parking lots and beaches had plenty of room. The next day we had a hot breakfast and stopped at Wright Brothers National Memorial. North Carolina. <laughs> what did you want? Piece of lettuce? It's not spinach, but it's close. We had an awesome dinner at Lone Cedar Cafe. The next morning we had a mission to go biking, so we decided to bike to the mini golf course. The owners of our Airbnb also owned the mini golf course, so they gave us free tickets. Kelly was on my heels the entire time and was only three putts away from winning. Game plan? On the way back home, we stopped by a pier and met a father-daughter duo who were crabbing using chicken on a hook. Kelly and I were both able to catch one and Kelly's was a keeper. Get small ones. Yeah. Whoa! We spent one more afternoon on the beach, but it was a red flag day, so no swimming for us. We were lucky to have great weather, warm water temperatures, and nothing really seemed to be crowded for most of our trip. Oh, The last morning we checked out of our Airbnb and headed back to Jockey Ridge State Park for a kite flying festival. There were so many different cool shapes, sizes, and styles of kites out there and it seemed like a great day for flying.
touch the butt. We had some more time to kill, so we stopped by Body Island Lighthouse and walked around the grounds. We eventually made our way north to Norfolk, where Kelly was to fly out the next day back to Missouri. The final destination for me was Flagstaff, Arizona. I spent a couple days in Columbia, Missouri to celebrate Kelly's birthday and was on my way to the Southwest to start a new chapter in the outdoor industry. Here's to another amazing Kelly adventure and guess what? More to come.